Welcome to this tutorial on the WaveArts audio plugin Final Plug. In this video, I'll be showing you the features, functions, and applications of this fairly simple yet very powerful plugin. I hope that after watching this tutorial, you'll be inspired to test it out on your own and that it'll become a tool you find useful in your work. So let's take a look at the plugin. Okay, here we are in Cool Edit, and I've got a session open here. And let's go ahead and apply the plugin, find it in Effects, Direct X, Wave Arts, Final Plug, and you just click and drag to the track you want to apply it to. And that opens the uh, interface for the plugin. And let's just take a look at the basic features of this plugin. Final Plug is a look ahead peak limiter, which means uh, it anticipates loud peaks that may be present in your audio and actually turns the gain down or the volume down during those peaks. The plugin also serves as a volume maximizer, bringing the level up on quieter sections in your audio. So as it limits the peaks and brings up the quieter sections, it's essentially compressing the audio, resulting in a more balanced and consistent audio level. Now looking at the interface here, it may seem a bit daunting at first, but actually uh, we're, for our purposes, we're really only gonna be using one slider on here and that's the threshold. Uh, the threshold sets the level at which um, the limiter is going to take effect on our audio signal. The ceiling is the highest level that our limiter will allow the audio signal to reach. Uh, in this case I have it set to negative 6 dB which is actually a standard uh, we'll try to use for broadcast purposes. So when you first uh, apply this plugin you can actually set it to negative 6 dB um, either by using the slider here, uh, right clicking will give you fine adjustment, or you can actually just highlight and type it in. Uh, be sure to put negative 6 and not just 6. Next we have the release parameter which dictates uh, how long after the limiter has turned down the peak it will bring the signal back up. Here I have it set to 50 milliseconds, that's a good standard to start with and between 50 and 100 milliseconds is a good range to work in for voice. Next we have the attenuation meter which tells us by how many dB our limiter is turning down the, the high peaks and that's going to come into play when we're using the plugin and, and we'll see how setting our threshold will determine how this attenuator works and how to adjust it to get the best quality sound. Finally we have the truncate and dither section which actually for our purposes we're not going to need this so just be sure that it's not enabled it should be darkened here and actually let's just uh there we go that's good okay things just got a little easier and a little bit cuter depending on the overall level of your audio the thresholds can be set anywhere from good range would be maybe from negative eight all the way down to negative 17 or 18 even you can either click and drag and here's your indicator down here to the level you're setting it at or you can right click for a finer adjustment or finally you can just um, highlight and type in what you want if you know about the level you're looking for let's try um, 12 for starters here and I'm just going to play back a bit of audio here and as it runs through final plug and take a we'll take a look and see what's happening and then I'll explain it I'm stumped, <laughs> but I did see Nico Case in New Orleans, by gosh. And there you go. Else. I knew he would do it. Tenuous uh, thread there. She's performing on Thursday at the Variety Playhouse, and I, I can't seem to shake her. I woke up the other Saturday morning. She Now let's take a look at this audio. Um, I'm going to mute that since we've heard it and we've seen the effects on the limiter and sort of just go back over it and explain sort of what's happening as we listen to this video with these loud peaks. I specifically chose this latter section to show the function of the limiter uh, on the audio. Now playing back, uh, we'll see as we reach as we uh, reach a high level here, we'll see some attenuation here. For example, right there through this material. And what we're actually seeing there is the limiter acting on the signal and making it more smooth and consistent throughout. Now what you're looking for as you begin to adjust the threshold, some activity in your attenuation, but not a whole lot. You, you want to see regular movement in here, but if it's always on here, then your threshold is set 
too low and you need to bring it up some because you may be over compressing or, or actually crushing your audio. So let me actually just uh, play through some of this audio and, and show you what I mean. Music recommendations, but I, I sense you're branching out <laughs> geographically here. Yeah, I'm stumped, <laughs> but I did see Nico Case in New Orleans by God. You can actually see that extreme attenuation and, and you can hear it very clearly. So to prevent that, you want to keep a more uh, moderate level on the threshold, uh, as indicated earlier, maybe a max of a uh, negative 18. But going through again, we can just uh, visually see where the right uh, degree of attenuation is going to be happening. And here you're just trying to find basically where your general level of the audio is residing a little below maybe so if we're peaking right up around here oops typically this looks like a good level we found ourselves at uh, negative 12.8 and we see some attenuation activity regular activity here but not extreme if you find yourself uh, reaching attenuations of like 18 consistently then you'll probably again want to bring your threshold a little higher because you're just compressing those peaks a little too much Finally, I want to take a look at uh, the effect of final plug on our final mix down. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix this down. See the plug in acting there. And we see that we have a pretty balanced signal throughout. We have our peaks being limited to uh, our set ceiling, which is negative six. Um, here we see this is the loudest section that we saw earlier. But overall, as you see here, this is about what you'll be aiming for uh, for your final mix down to look like sort of uh, soft occasional peaks which are the most likely to be uh, sonically transparent and those are the basics of final plug if you want more detailed information on this plugin i'd recommend going to wave arts website shown here in the meantime have fun with this plugin <laughs>